Welcome to today's lesson, Logarithmic Properties. During your Desmos activity, you should have learned the three basic rules for logarithms. The first was the product rule for logarithms that says that if you have log base b of the product of m and n, you can rewrite this as log base b of m plus log base b of n. Now the reverse is true. If you have log base b of m plus log base b of n, you can combine them into one log where m and n are multiplied together. Then we have the quotient rule for logarithms. It says if we have log base b of m divided by n, or the log of a quotient, we can rewrite that as two logs that are being subtracted. Log base b of m minus log base b of n. And again, if we have two logs with the same base being subtracted, we can write them as the log of a quotient. And then we have the power rule for logarithms that says if we have log base b of m raised to the n, we can take that power and make it a factor in front, and this is equal to n times log base b of m. So first we just need to practice using these properties to pull apart logs and to put them back together. So in example one it says write log base a of x times the square root of x plus one as a sum and or difference of logarithms and express all powers as factors. So you can see that this is x times the square root of x squared plus one. So I can say this is the same as log base b of x plus log base a of the square root of x plus one, well the square root is really the same as raising to the one-half power. So I've written this as the sum of two logarithms, but I need to express my power as a factor. So finally this becomes log base a of x plus one-half log base a of x squared plus one. Now notice that x squared plus one is not a product, so I can't pull that apart any further, so I am done. Example two, write log base a of the square root of x squared plus one divided by x cubed times x plus one to the fourth. As a sum and or difference of logarithms, express all powers as factors. This is going to be equal to log base a of, I'm gonna write this as x squared plus one to the one-half minus log base a of x cubed times x plus one to the fourth. Now I can put this one half in front and this will become one half times log base a of x squared plus one and then I have the product of two factors inside of log base a so I'm going to put parentheses around this and this will be minus log base a of x cubed plus log base a of x plus one to the fourth. Now I need to distribute that negative over both of these terms. So now I'm going to have one half times log base a of x squared plus one minus log base a of x cubed minus log base a of x plus one to the fourth. And then finally I have to express all of my powers as factors. So I have one half log base a of x squared plus one minus three times log base a of x minus four times log base a of x plus one. Notice that the two factors that are in the denominator are both subtracted in my final answer. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. Example three, write each of the following as a single logarithm. So we're gonna combine these together. So the first thing we have to do is we're gonna put the factor back in as a power. So this is the same as log base a of seven plus log base a of three to the fourth. Now that I have two logs with the same base being added together, I can write them as a product. So this is log base a of seven times three to the fourth. And I can simplify that to log base a of 567. Part B, I have two thirds natural log of eight minus the natural log of five squared minus one. So I'll start by taking the two thirds and putting it back as a power, so this is gonna be equal to the natural log of eight 
to the two-thirds minus the natural log of five squared minus one is really the natural log of 24. Now eight to the two-thirds is the same as eight to the one-third squared. Now eight to the one-third is the cube root of eight, which is two, and two squared is equal to four. So this becomes the natural log of four minus the natural log of 24. I can combine this into a quotient. This becomes the natural log of four over 24. Four over 24 simplifies to one six. I can write this now as the natural log of one minus the natural log of six. We know that the natural log of one is zero. So this ultimately simplifies down to the negative natural log of six. And then part C, log base A of x plus log base A of nine plus log base A of x squared plus one minus log base A of five. I can combine everything that's positive as factors in the numerator and the one part that is negative becomes in the denominator. So this becomes log base A of x times nine times x squared plus one over five, or this might look a little bit better as log base A of nine x times x squared plus one all over five. Example four, use the properties of logarithms to evaluate six log base eight of two plus log base eight of 64 divided by three log base eight of four without using a calculator. This isn't as bad as it looks. Let's just first go through and we'll put the powers or the factors back in as powers. So now I'm going to have log base eight of two to the sixth plus log base eight of 64 over log base eight of four cubed. Well, we know that two to the sixth is 64, so this becomes log base eight of 64 plus log base eight of 64 divided by log base eight of four cubed is 64. This just becomes a one. So now I've got log base eight of 64 plus one, and then just ask yourself, what do I have to raise eight to to get 64? Well, we know that eight squared is 64, so log base eight of 64 is two, and we'll add that to one, which equals three. Now most of the time, with our calculators, we can't evaluate logarithms with bases other than 10 or E. And so we do have a change of base formula that will allow us to convert logs of any base into log base 10 for common logs and log base E for natural logs. And this is what the formula looks like. So log base B of M, the change of base formula says that if I want to change this to base N, this becomes log base N of what was in the log divided by log base n of the original base. So if we want to convert to natural log, log base b of m becomes the natural log of m divided by the natural log of the base. And if we want to convert to common logs, log base b of m becomes log of m over log of the original base. So example five says use the change of base formula to evaluate each expression as a quotient of natural logs. So they're specifically telling us to use uh, natural logs in our change of base formula. Then we'll use the calculator to approximate to four places. So log base five of 89 is the same as the natural log of the original value, which was 89 divided by the natural log of the original base. And if you put that into your calculator, we get 2.7889. And then log base square root of two, of square root of five, this becomes the natural log of the square root of five divided by the natural log of the square root of two. And this is approximately equal to 2.3219. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.